game essence in role-playing games. There are all sorts of role-playing games out there, so here's a brief summary of the game essence found within. To start, one thing RPGs need is an adventure into unknown dangers. The deeper you go, the stronger and scarier enemies become. But in the search for an even greater reward, you push on anyway. Do you press your luck? Or get out while you still can? Falling in battle would mean losing all the spoils you've found, so the risk and reward is clear. Games that let you exit dungeons at will, or not stress over resource management, could be said to be more casual. But that doesn't mean they're devoid of nail-biting challenge. By increasing the difficulty of individual battles, they can still hit a nice balance. As for combat, action RPGs have to take the balance of action scenes into consideration. So let's just talk about turn-based battles for now. When an enemy appears, first, the player sizes it up based on how it looks and acts. Maybe it seems weak to fire. If you give something a shot and it works, you gain experience. Player experience, that is. Exploiting enemy weaknesses to maximize your damage output. That's both strategy and game essence at play. Then again, players might not always give it that much thought. For a more casual game, it might be best not to make things too complex. In games like Persona, exploiting weaknesses lets you set up combos, giving battles a little more variety and rhythm. The game's design urges you to exploit enemy weaknesses, which makes for great game balance. It's important to have that push and pull, after all. Today I've covered two core elements of RPG essence, exploration and combat. But RPGs are a vast and complex genre. So don't let existing conventions limit how you design your push and pull. Stage clear.